On April 20th, 2007, Jesus and John Wayne saved my life. As you can see, John Wayne's got a bullet hole in his scarf on his shoulder. And if you pan down here, he's got a bullet hole just below his belt. And one of the other bullets that the uh, person fired went into this door. You can see the bullet hole there, right there, that little round hole. Watch the uh, news clip that follows uh, to learn more about the story. Thank you. They say that he is linked to two separate murders and to a shootout in the past two weeks alone. This morning, 18-year-old Frederick Williams remains on the loose. Investigators went to question Williams about a murder in Albuquerque apartment early yesterday morning. And they also believe he is the same man who shot and killed the team right in the middle of an Albuquerque street last week. Stuart Dyson also tracked down a business owner who managed to survive a shootout with the bandit who police say is in fact Frederick Williams. Cops have noticed that whenever Frederick Justin J. Williams shows up, lead tends to start flying. They say that's what happened right here at this Western Union business exactly two weeks ago. Jerry Klinger takes his business seriously. He carries a 357 Magnum revolver and it's loaded and he knows how to use it. Two Friday nights ago, Klinger looked up from his cash register to see two young men standing in front of him. One with a gun about six inches from my hand. He said, give me your money and don't go for that gun. I looked at him and thought, well, it's now or never. So I jumped to the side, he fired, I drew and fire, he fired again. And Cleaner and other witnesses picked Frederick Williams out of a police photo lineup as the gunman. Five nights later, another young man lay dead in a pool of blood on Trumbull near San Mateo. 19-year-old Maurice Johnson was shot to death in a dispute over money, a friend said. That buddy, Doug Simpson, later told cops another pal pulled the trigger. Yep. Frederick Justin J. Williams and cops matched cartridge casings to the Eubank shootout. Friends said gangbangers squabbled ferociously at Johnson's funeral this week. Doug Simpson was shot to death in his apartment near San Mateo and Gibson, the killer using a pillow to muffle the shots. Does anybody wonder why cops want to find Frederick Justin J. Williams? So we've got several outstanding warrants on him. He's very dangerous, armed. We've got information that he's been known to carry AK-47 in his vehicle, multiple weapons. Uh, we're getting all the information out to all law enforcement officers in the state in case they do come across him. Last December, Williams got blood on his hands in a strange trailer park double killing. He blew away 39-year-old Lorenzo Montoya, who police say had just killed Williams' girlfriend. Police say Montoya duct taped and strangled Sharika Hill, who came to Montoya's trailer to perform a $500 strip tease. Cops ruled that one a justifiable homicide. They say that Williams caught Montoya red-handed with the girl's body. They say Montoya went for his gun. Williams got him first. He's armed and dangerous, to say the least. On Eubank, near Central, Stuart Dyson, Eyewitness News 4 today.